everybody, it's time to welcome Thomas Olivier, head of the sharing economy and emerging practices at La Maïf. Thomas is going to share with us some insight around the work Maïf is doing with startups around the sharing economy and uh, the investment they are making in the industry and some of the things they want to do in the future. So let's give a big round of applause and welcome Thomas on stage. Thank you very much, Seven. Hello, everybody. So I'm Thomas from France, and I will try to be as clear as possible with my English. Um, so I'm in charge of sharing economy and emerging practices at MAIF. It's a new function created two years ago for a new strategy, a strategy of transformation in order to become more than an insurer. So I'm very pleased to be here because for me, it's like an evidence, a signal that we are succeeding in this challenge of, of transformation. First, I will show you why sharing economy is not only a, a strategic choice for MAIF, but really an obvious opportunity. Then, I would like to share with you a very strong conviction about needs and aspiration. Finally, I will conclude with some example of what I call hybridation, which is our way to create new services with startup. Often, strategy is a question of choice and problem to solve. For MAIF, our strategy in sharing economy is, first of all, a question of vision and commitment. This commitment has begun in 1934 when few teachers decided to create a disruptive startup with the technology of its time, the phone, and a new model, the um, uh, mutual peer-to-peer -peer insurance. Looking at this story, Maif was perhaps one of the first insurtechs in history. And so, since this time, our customers are engaged in this vision of sharing, not only for insurance, but for car sharing, for ride sharing, for crowdfunding. They want it because they like it. Maif has been for 18 years a mutual peer-to-peer -peer insurer in an individualist society, for a society based on ownership, one car per person. And now that a collaborative society is coming, in where access replaces ownership, we want to become a collaborative platform of services for this collaborative society. Our goal is to create new experiences thanks to the strength of communities. It means to adapt an industrial organization to deliver sharp and designed services, solutions. In fact, it means offer access more than an insurance premium. I think that this new mindset is an obligation for insurers. Six years ago, the Time magazine has seen in sharing economy as one of the 10 ideas that would change the world. Indeed, now sharing economy is everywhere. And share is a new way to consume, a new way to live. For us at Maif, sharing economy means connecting people, people who possess with people who have needs. It works, of course, with car, with accommodation, with objects, but it works too with knowledge, with skills, with finance, with energy, etc., etc. For each of these subjects, there is at the same time a necessity and a research of trust. Trust 
is like the energy of sharing economy. It creates a sense of community which gets stronger and stronger. And these communities create new aspirations, aspirations which drive needs. And here we are. I believe, or I want to believe, that sharing economy is a revolution because the aspiration of the members, the aspiration of the users, the aspiration of peoples drive the value. It's more than the need of moving, the need of housing. It's how you want it and for which experience. I like very much this pyramid of Harvard Business Review, which represents the different stages of aspirations from the functional aspirations like save time, make money, until um, life-changing and social impact aspirations like provide hope or what they call the self-transcendence. In front of these aspirations, we could find some new models, new practices. You know, it's all this buzzword like peer-to-peer, um, uh, empowerment on demand. For me, all these practices call for new services built around aspirations and not only needs. And so, so what, what's happening for MAIF? For MAIF, it's nothing more than the continuation of our innovation story. Thanks to our partners, the startups, who understand better than us these emerging practices, we bring services in our offers. It's what I call hybridation. Let me show what I'm saying through three examples. The first one is what we are doing with Willis. Willis, which is a um, car sharing platform for people with disabilities. The founder, who is this amazing woman called Charlotte, um, has been really frustrated the day she couldn't go to her best friend's wedding because of a car problem. So she decided to bring solutions by creating wheelies with two main aspirations, provide hope and self-transcendence. That's now a new services include in the Maif experience when we have to manage some claims for our clients with disabilities. Thanks to Willis, we can provide very quickly a solution of transport to our customers. The second one is what we are doing with Ulul, which is a very famous crowdfunding platform. With Ulul, we find solutions for our customers in B2B, the associations and public collectivities, uh, which have budget problem. So with uh, Ulul, we'll help them to realize their project in uh, finding solution. By this way, we extend our capacity to serve our customers. At last, I would like to show you what we do with Medepanner, <laughs> a typical French name. Medepanner is a startup that connects trust um, trust professional repair men and women with people who need them. The service of Mayday Panels is suggested to our members when they are facing a damage which is not covered by their insurance. It's a new way to bring services in very important moment. Finally, I could resume our strategy to create new services with startups in five case success factors. First, learn, and learn to listen and understand this ec the ecosystem. Secondly, be known and identify opportunities. Then, be able to start working with startups with the same culture, the same mindset, and provide our partners the best solution. 
It was what I call in, in French, sur mesure. <laughs> At last, be able to have strategic partnerships. To do this, we created a dedicated team. We created a fund called My Favenir of 125 million euros. And most important, we create a real dynamic of mutual trust with our partners. We have, of course, some results. Two years after this beginning of this new strategy, we have 20 very strong partnerships, thanks to Maif Avenir, so with uh, investment with our startup partners. We have more than 150 players of sharing economy insured by Maif. This year, we will have 1 million euro of results. And of course, we have now a lot of new services and opportunities for our customers. Thank you very much. Thank you, Thomas. So, what's next at La Maïf et pour Thomas? There is a big, big, big uh, opportunities for us, thanks to sharing economy and thanks to the hybridation with startup. Um, I think we could uh, become uh, an international players in the uh, needs of insurance about sharing economy. And I hope too to become a player in you know, smart cities, uh, safe data, all these new trends uh, for our customers. Wonderful. Thank you, Thomas. Thank Let's you, give a Thank big round of applause to Thomas. Mm -hmm. Merci. Mm -hmm. You're welcome.